All right, welcome back. This is Mr. Muscarello showing you how to write your polynomials given a rational zeros and an irrational zero. This time, I'm going to show you guys how to verify this thing using your graphing calculator. And you can thank me and TI8384 later. So check it out. Make sure you've got your graphing calculator out. Now, from the last problem that we did together, we came up with, we had the original problem with our roots, so that was the step one. And we did all of our algebra and we came up with our final solution of this particular thing. So what I want to do is show you two things. The first thing is to uh, how to make sure that what we put in there in step one and what we came up with as an answer in step eight, our final solution, how those are correct. And then the second thing I'm going to show you is how to use the value feature to make sure like, yeah, when if we were to use those numbers, we actually get zero. So first thing I want you to do is take your original problem with roots and then your final solution. And what I want you to do is use your graphing calculator, hit the y equals button, and put both of those into y equals. Go ahead and hit pause now. Do that on your calculator. And then when you're done, come on back here. What I want you to do, and I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger on the calculator, so we're going to pay attention to that. And what I want you to do is hit second and then table. Now, if our original problem and our final solution, if those two pieces we have in y equals, if those values or if those polynomials are in fact the same thing, then that means when I take a look at my table, the y1 and y2 columns will be identical. They'll be exactly the same. Now what's really cool is right up there at negative 4, I can see my y values are 0, and then also down here at 1, I can see my y values are 0. So that's something that's really nice and really handy. But I had those other two zeros, the, x, the 2 minus square root of 6 and 2 plus a square root of 6, and I don't have that in my calculator. And there's a couple different ways to put that in there, and I'm just going to go over one of them to kind of say, all right, is this a zero? So what I'm going to do first is go to second and then, or not second, sorry, we're just going to graph this thing. We're going to zoom 6 because we're going to look at our standard viewing window. All right, cool. Now, Based on the picture, I know I can kind of count, and this looks like it's my negative 4, and over here I can tell that's 1. But what I want to do is find these other two, this guy and this guy right there, and I'm hoping that those are the 2 plus root 6 and the 2 minus root 6 zeros. So what I want you to do is hit the second, and then calc, or second trace, and that'll give us the calculate menu. Now see that first thing where it says value? That's what we want to do, so we're just going to hit enter. Now, x equals, we're going to just type in, using our graph and calculator, we're going to type in 2 plus square root of 6. So 2 plus, second, and then the x squared button, square root of 6, and then close off the parentheses. Type that in, hit enter, and then notice the y equals. It says y equals 0. And our cursor is, is blinking at that location. Um, so that's my very, very first 0, 2 plus square root of 6. And that is a 0 because of the value right there. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with 2 minus the square root of 6. So hit um, second, trace again, value, and then 2 minus the square root of 6. So I want to know what y value is when x is 2 plus square root, or 2 minus the square root of 6. And that ends up also being 0. And we can see that because of where the cursor is blinking. It looks like it crosses the x-axis, but it's verified down here where it says y equals 0. So that tells me two things from Mr. TI-83. So let me get this back out of the way over here. It tells me, one, that my original problem with its roots, I put that in correctly. But since my tables match the y1 and y2 columns, that tells me that my final solution is, in fact, the correct polynomial for those given roots. So that's pretty cool, man. You got this stuff. That's how you check in on the TI-8384 graphing calculator. Peace. I'm out of here. Easy peasy, cheesy. See you guys later. I'm out.